Hey what is up everyone I hope all of you are doing great and in today's question we have when a glass plate is inserted vertically in water water rises along the plate making its surface close to the plate curved as shown in the figure find the expression for the height to which water rises along the plate surface tension is given as sigma density of water is rho and acceleration due to gravity is g and here you can see that the contact angle is theta so to start this question or to solve this question you need to know these two equations first one is Young's Laplace equation and the second one is the radius of curvature formula I would suggest you to go through these two equation first okay uh, you can get information on the internet after that you can follow up with the video so I have drawn the diagram for the right hand side or uh, for the right hand side of the water of the glass plate fine and as you can see that theta is the contact angle sigma is the surface tension that is acting in this direction tangential to this curve at this point and here where the water mixes with the horizontal sigma is acting in this direction fine I have considered this point as the origin this is where y coordinate is changing and in this direction I have taken x coordinate ok. So here of course uh, with y x is changing so x is the dependent variable and y is the independent variable I have already written it here fine. So I have taken a small element of this curve ok and I have zoomed this one here let us consider that the tangent passing through this point makes an angle alpha with the vertical so if this is alpha this one will also be alpha fine so this one would be dx this one would be dy so tan alpha is dx by dy okay at this point the value of tan alpha is nothing but tan theta and at this point the value of tan alpha is nothing but tan pi by 2 or infinite Okay, we will use these two values later on. So, according to Young's Laplace equation for hydrostatic equilibrium, the pressure at this point that is the liquid pressure at this point would be balanced by the excess pressure created on this curved surface. Okay. So, at a depth of y, the pressure due to liquid would be rho gy and the excess pressure according to Young Laplace equation would be surface tension divided by the radius of curvature ok. So, if I draw a circle here the radius of curvature would be capital R. So, as I have said earlier that the x coordinate or the x is the dependent variable. So, the formula for radius of curvature would be 1 plus x prime whole square whole to the power 3 by 2 divided by x double prime. Generally, you would, you would have seen uh, anywhere that the formula looks something like this ok. But as I have chosen the coordinate system in such a way that x becomes the dependent variable that is why the formula has been modified to this one. So, we will just put the value of r here ok. Uh, so, rho g y equal will be equal to this one. I have taken x prime equals to z that is dx dy equals to z ok. So, this formula becomes x prime is z. So, this one would be 1 plus z square whole to the power 3 by 2 x double prime becomes dz by dy replacing dy here. So, after that we will integrate. So, for y equals to 0 as I have said tan theta would be sorry tan alpha would be tan theta. I am sorry, I am sorry, uh, z equals to dx dy, dx dy at this point would be equal to tan theta. For y equals to h that means at this point dx dy would be equal to tan pi by 2 that is infinite ok. As you can see that here the angle is 90 degree right. So, we will just put the values here. We have use the limits. Now, we will just put z equals to tan alpha ok. So, this whole thing simplifies to 
cos alpha and we will also change the limits. So, for z equals to tan alpha the lower limit becomes theta and the upper limit becomes pi by 2 fine. So, our integration reduces to rho g h square by 2 equals sigma cos alpha d alpha 0 to pi by 2 integrating this side and solving it and finally, we get the height of the liquid like this. Okay. Initially, I was trying to solve this using by balancing forces in horizontal and vertical direction, but uh, it was there were so many unknown variables I could not solve it in that way that is why I used this technique. Okay. So, I hope you all have found this video helpful and informative if you are new to this channel please do subscribe if you like the video please do give a thumbs up share with your friends and teachers and I will see you in the next one peace.